I knew I wanted to do a large ensemble piece. And the concept took a long time to figure out. I mean, there are a few things. First of all, the title refers to um, uh, almost these visual hallucinations that happens when people are in solitary confinement or deep meditation where they don't have any visual change. So either they're looking at a blank, you know, a blank wall for many days or even weeks in time, or else they have their eyes closed. And in that situation, people have reported that they start to see flashes of images. And okay, we can kind of imagine that. But what's really interesting is they see flashes, but they can't really work out all the details. And that's why I incorporated images in these photographs I took in Quebec, these highly distorted images, um, which, fit the, which fit the concept. But the ensemble is also has its own internal dynamics because it's set up with um, four wind players, two and two on opposite sides of, um, of the stage, and they act as quasi-soloists. Then we have four strings, and then we have um, piano, mostly extended piano, and electric guitar, and the pianist is basically using the same techniques as the electric guitarist. So you have these three units, but one of them is actually devised so, so there's a much antiphonal work going on, and there's a lot of sound going back and forth between these three groups. There's a lot of special uh, um, extended technique in there, flutter tonguing, um, glissing, um, yeah, just uh, quarter tones, that's another big one. Um, it's, it's cool just being able to um, kind of stretch what I can do on the clarinet. I've always thought it was really cool to watch a percussionist perform live because the way that they have to place things around them that they can access at a certain time. And uh, the guitar part for Rick's piece calls for a metal slide, two different types of picks, an ebo, which is uh, a small battery-powered piece of machinery that allows you to infinitely sustain a tone. And most of the sections of the piece can only work if you're only doing using one of those things. So there's not a way for me to have a slide on my finger, two picks in one hand, an ebo, and also be playing the more traditionally notated parts. So it's a fun challenge, but it is a challenge having everything laid out. It's a very disturbing piece, a lot of just uh, disturbing sounds and within it you see some light and it's kind of the feeling, I mean, I've never been in prison before, but it's kind of like the feeling like if you are looking in the sun too long and you look away and you kind of see spots here and there and um, yeah, I can, I can hear like really dark, disturbing things in the music. There are a lot of like very subtle colors going on within the ensemble that you don't really hear, or maybe you think that you're hearing through overtones or the interaction of two instruments. It's kind of a, a lot of gray area in it, which I imagine would be like being in pitch black darkness and losing it.